Hello, my beautiful souls. I love you guys. I've missed you guys. Welcome back to another episode. Today is going to be about how to create your dream life, especially in 2024. And a lot of these steps that I took to create my dream life that I'm living now were a few years ago. And I know that I'm able to teach you guys these things and these lessons so that you can live your dream life. Let's get right into it. I have a step of four things that you need to do and to follow and instructions in order to actually live your dream life if you guys are new here make sure you follow me on instagram and tiktok i post every single day and i have the e-commerce academy course curriculum coming out march 1st 2024 if you've always and have dreamt of starting your own online business make sure you sign up for my waitlist right now not everybody who is in my waitlist will be guaranteed a spot so make sure you keep up to date with me on socials this is a place and a safe space Base where you can create your online business. I help you monetize, build a personal brand, go on social media, see what product to sell, going through suppliers, sampling, everything like that. You can head over to my link in bio or I'll leave a link here directly where you can sign up for the waitlist so that you can be notified when we release and open for enrollment. If you guys are enjoying this podcast, please make sure you share it to a friend. I don't make any money doing these podcasts or episodes or recording. I genuinely just share from the heart and want to be vulnerable and into with you guys so that I can get you to know each and every one of you on a more intimate level and you can also know more about me and my story and I'm really trying to find a community and people around us who are like-minded young female entrepreneurs or who are just trying to get that bag you know we don't want to depend on other people it's 2024 it's really time to boss up and if you haven't already bossed up this is your year to do it let's get right into how to create your dream life these are all the steps that I took in the past few years that have really gotten me to to live the best version of myself eat sleep breathe and every single day i wake up and i feel so happy and grateful and just ecstatic to be in this life that i have chosen and created for myself yes god will born you into different circumstances that you are not able to choose like your family your blood your ethnicity but how you choose to play with those cards every single day and create your reality from there is up to you and it is a choice every single part of your life and every Everything in your life right now is a reflection of a decision or a past mistake you've made three months ago to three years ago. And I say that with so much passion because a lot of people these days will complain about how they're so stuck in a certain way or they hate the government or they hate where they came from. They hate their family. They hate their environment. They hate their friends. They hate their job. And it's like you guys are able to change all of these things. These are choices. Every single day you wake up, you have a choice to make and choose what you want to do and who you want to be. And if you are not happy with where you are right now and who you are just as a person overall with all of the things that you have, your bank account, your bed, your place, your home, where you're living, where you're going to school, where you're studying, your financial situation, this is a reflection and a choice that you have made. So know that you can change these things. And especially with these four steps that I'm gonna teach you guys all today, you are going to implement this today if you are not where you wanna be. So the first one is, I demanded more in myself. This was a first step, is bringing self-awareness to understand that, okay, I know this is not the place that I wanna be. I know that I wanna get to somewhere else and these are the steps that I need to take. So you need to demand more yourself. You need to be self-aware that this situation, you do not love it. You're just comfortable and you're just complaining. This is not a place you wanna be in. You wanna be woken up, happy, grateful, excited to just live your day because you're so happy that every single part of your day is something that is a reflection of your emotions and you're just happy it brings you peace it brings you money it brings you passive income it brings you a life where you feel fulfilled and freedom and resourceful so the first step is demand more on yourself and stick to an actual schedule that you're going to make to do this so for me that meant with putting tasks and responsibilities in my calendar and in my habit blocks that I knew I was actually going to do. Because if you start saying to yourself, okay, I'm going to go to the gym 20 times this month and you go once or twice, it's going to make you feel shitty. Because if you can't even respect yourself enough to follow up with your own words and your own discipline of your own schedule, 
who's going to respect you? Like the first place it starts with respecting yourself, which means respecting the things that you're going to say that you're going to do to yourself. And it's so easy for us to just let ourselves go and be like, yeah, it's fine. I have tomorrow. I have all the time in the world. Like, no, girl, we do not have all the time in the girl in the world. Okay, like you're going to see people who are 30, 40s regretting their damn life and saying they should have started something when they're 20, 30. And it's like every single day counts. Weekends count. So if you're a person who's doing nothing on the weekends and you're just excited for the weekend, you need to be in this place to actually up level your life. Okay, because weekends we work and we have to sacrifice our life even weekends so that we can get to where we are. Demand more yourself and actually put tasks and responsibilities in your calendar that you are seriously going to stick to. Is it actually learning a new skill? Is it reading that one book this month? Is it seeing your parents more? Is it creating a better relationship with your partner? Is it reading more about a certain topic that you want to learn about? Is it going to school about a certain topic? Is it taking a course? Is it investing? Is it uploading your bank account? And if it is, then that goes into my second step. For myself, I knew that I needed to make more money. And this meant starting my own online business, whether it's digital or e-commerce, selling stuff on Facebook and doing flips on random things that I can find around the house that I didn't need anymore. Literally anywhere that the hustle took me because back then, my goal was to make at least $100 minimum per day on extra outside of my corporate job. I was slaving 40 hours a week at my corporate job, sometimes even 50, 60s because your girl be working overtime. Like I wanted a promotion. I wanted a raise. I wanted to be stood out and I wanted to make sure that I was known for being a hard worker. So sometimes it involved working over 40, 50 hours a week. And that had no time for family, friends, relationships. But I knew that at that time I needed to make more money because money was something that it was a resource for me to do better in life so that I can can enjoy all the finer things in life and I can build better relationships and friendships around me if I had more time and more money. So the first step, make more money. And if you're at this place right now where your bank account you're not happy with or you're not happy with your job, you need to figure out a plan and leave. Build yourself up to a point where you're having enough income or you feel comfortable enough where you're like, I can take this risk to go and do this. So for myself, starting my online business during COVID when I had gotten laid off was the biggest and best blessing in my life. And that was something where I barely even had like $3,000 in my bank account. But I knew that if this was a place that I needed to go, then this is where I need to be. And it's just about getting through the process and going through the journey so that you can meet your destination and get to the place. I didn't take any weekends off for like two years. I did everything by myself. I barely saw family and friends. I did not go to any parties. I had like a no alcohol time at that time. I was sober. I was not doing anything but focus on up leveling my life and my bank account and working my online business. So if this is a place that you're at and this is a place that many people are at, which is so normal, then keep it going and up level so hard. So sign up for something that you know that will be a good investment into yourself so that you can execute better skills. The third step on how to create your dream life and the step that I took was that I refused to eat, see, or give my energy to people who wasn't benefiting me financially, mentally, or emotionally. And this involves conversations and definitely long distance or anything even on text, okay? Because you guys might be like, well, I already don't even see my family and friends. I'm by myself all the time. I only go to work and I go home or I'm in my room. Like I don't even go out or be an extrovert or network, all these things. But this involves social media too, guys. This involves consuming bases of random shit online that you're scrolling for hours on tiktok and instagram when i was in my grind mode my mode of up leveling myself the road to becoming the truest one percent i did not scroll on social for like two years and let me tell you that was the best thing that i've ever done for myself because when you scroll on social media and even though you're consciously scrolling you actually subconsciously take in all of this whack-ass energy and people from places and things that you don't even like and you all of a sudden like just rewire your brain for no reason seeing all this shit online and bad negative news and following up and like talking to people you don't even hang out with anymore and just seeing their shit and it's like who fucking cares what our next door neighbor is doing or who fucking cares what stacy from high school or grade three is doing like i don't care you know what 
you need to clear your mind of every social media platform because it's fucking toxic and it is the truth and a lot of people are not gonna say it's toxic and just as much as it is toxic it's actually very resourceful as well because you can make hundreds of million dollars online but the dark side of it it's also so fucking toxic recognize this that you are in the cycle of scrolling and this went for myself as well and even sometimes i catch myself recently scrolling for mindlessly hours reading memes or about the news or about the government or about different countries and it's like why do we give a shit so much about things that don't pay our bills especially in the grind mode if you are in a place right now where you know you need to up level and be a better person there needs to be almost zero distractions and social media and your phone is going to take away like half of your life half of your day even so if this is not contributing especially to what you're doing get the fuck off of it until you feel like you're at a place to get back on it and that's just the sad truth so don't be texting all day or scrolling or even talking to people on the phone or facetime if these conversations are not making you money and 99% of the time i bet you that it's not making you money okay because you're not even a place where you should be networking if you're not a place where you don't even have a lot of money in your bank account for you to be networking <laughs> that's just the truth and i feel like i'm telling this to my younger self like if i had a younger sister or a daughter i would tell her these things too this is just the way that you need to build your strict habit and discipline in your life if you want to be successful okay these are people who want to create their dream life and be successful if that's not you just shut off this fucking podcast right now that's fine you don't have to be here i'm talking to people who actually want to be successful in their own life and then they can go and live their dream life with having the best partner having the best fulfilled purposeful eventful travels and relationships and just everything business literally everything So stop scrolling. And that goes for me too. Sometimes I just need to remind myself that. (laughs) The fourth step on how to create your dream life and what I did and step that I took was that I said yes to everything that was pouring into me and said no to everything else. I would not even give time to anything that I felt could be slightly even draining. I wouldn't go out to anywhere. I wouldn't do anything. And sometimes you just need to tell your best friends or your partner at that time, your family or your parents, your siblings, like, hey, I'm at a place in my life where I am extremely unhappy with myself and I need the next three months to eight months to really focus on this part of my life. And if you respect me, you won't invite me out. You won't make me feel FOMO. You won't send me pictures of you doing your living your life. Like, I don't want to see this shit. And then if they respect you and they love you, which of course they do, they're going to encourage you. And if they don't, then you don't need them in your life anyways. So say yes to everything when it comes to actually controlling your habits in your life and say no to everything else. If you can mentally prepare yourself for the things that are going to come, this is the best time to do it because your mind is like a soldier. Every human body and mind is so honestly powerful and society has made us look so fucking weak. Men and women are so smart, so powerful. Humans are so amazing and we've done such amazing things. All of this time has created is all from humans all of these amazing inventions and what the body and the mind goes through so just remember how fucking powerful you are and you were literally born into a human not an animal so the fact that you're even listening to this you should be so fucking happy that you were not a butterfly or something or like a caterpillar you know like you just don't know what you don't know you need to remember these things it's so easy for us every single day to literally go on with our days feel ungrateful feel unappreciative of the things that happened to us like oh my god this person cut me off oh my god my boss was a bitch my sister is mean my coworker is an asshole spreading rumors about me backstabbing me or my cousin's this my family's this like yes of course shit happens all the time but blessings are to come your way and sometimes the universe will literally hand you devils and demons in human form in people the closest to you so that they can test you before you're ready for that blessing and sometimes you just need to take a step back you just need to fucking fall back and remember who you are remember how lucky you are to even be born into this earth as a human to do amazing things to have equal opportunity and don't even get me started about being born in north america because if you were born in canada or united states you are already so fucking lucky 
above all else for people who are born in Asia or the countries where they have so much poverty, remember the blessings that you have. And sometimes I know, okay, it gets really, really hard because sometimes, you know, stupid shit just comes up and just takes over our day. But that's what having mental strength is. And if you are creating your dream life and you are going through this process right now and you're going to take my advice after this podcast, you need to understand it takes grit and resilience and self-development and improvement and just understanding that life is here to test you but you are not going to be tested every single time you're going to win a battle and you're going to dodge all of the bullets and toxicity and the bad things that are testing you in your life all right i love you guys so much i know this podcast helped you please rate this podcast five out of five because that allows me to really see that i should continue taking the time out of my weeks to sit down and record i literally do not get any money or anything from these podcasts i do this for you because i truly hope that it can help at least even one person or even my younger self if there is a younger self out there living her life right now and she just comes across my podcast and it helps her somehow to actually take the steps to live her dream life, that would mean the world to me. And you guys rating this podcast, giving me feedback, giving me comments, messaging me, DMing me, and always talking to me shows me that I'm allowed to still keep going. I'm able to still keep recording. I'm able to really sit down and continuously share these thoughts and moments with you. So please, please, please share this to a friend if you found value in it. I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to follow me on all of my socials, Instagram and TikTok. I post on there every single day. I'll talk to you guys on there as well. And don't forget to sign up for my e-commerce program that is happening on March 1st, 2024. We are opening up enrollment. If you've always wanted to start an online business, this is the time and the place to do it is with me. I will personally help you launch, scale, and with social media, finding everything like that online. The waitlist is now open, so make sure you sign up so you don't miss it. I love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next episode next week. Bye.